we've all seen promotions that big companies put out in order to get people to buy their product. And in this problem, we'll take a look at a problem that has to do with fast break cereal. Imagine they're trying to give away a nice shiny basketball to all those young players out there. And in order to get a basketball, you can do one of two things. Under offer A, you can buy two boxes of cereal, send in the labels, and then add another $7, and they'll send you a nice basketball. And offer B is another way of getting it. You could instead buy 10 boxes of their cereal, send those in along with four more dollars, and they'll send you that nice shiny basketball. The question for the company is, how many basketballs total are they going to need according to all these labels and this money that gets sent in. In order to answer this question, we can set up a system of equations to find out that answer. So to begin, let's start by identifying our variables. I'm going to let A represent the number of basketballs for offer A. So all the basketballs that are sent that are, need to be sent out under offer A, that's going to be the variable A. And we'll use B for the variable representing number of basketballs that the company needs for all the UPC labels and uh, money sent in under the conditions for offer B. So there's two things going on here. You're getting all these labels and you're getting uh, all this money. So if we were to write an equation uh, which relates the number of labels that are sent in, the equation would look like this. Under offer A, you needed to send in two labels. And under offer B, you needed to send in 10 labels. If you add up the number of basketballs they need for every two labels sent in under offer A and the number of basketballs that they need to send out for all the labels sent in for offer B, that's going to give you the total number of labels that they uh, collected through the mail that people sent in, and that was 1,234. The other information has to do with the total amount of money. So again, if we look at the problem under offer A, what an individual had to send in was $7 uh, with their two labels. Or under offer B, you had to send in $4. And that's going to be the total amount of money that the company collected, which was $1,405. So again, 7A means the number of basketballs that they need for every $7 that was sent in under offer A. 4B is the number of basketballs that they need to send out for all of the people who sent in $4 under offer B. So we've got a system of equations, two linear equations, two unknowns. And previously, we've learned several different ways to solve this. But we're going to solve this using elimination. And in the elimination method, we want to get rid of one of the variables. What we want to try to do is get the coefficients of one of the variables to be opposite. We're far from it here. The coefficient of a is 2. The coefficient of a here is 7. Those are not opposite. Same situation for the b's. But what we can do is what we, can mul we can multiply both sides of any equation by the same number. That's something that we've learned uh, a long time ago, we can take either equation or both and multiply them by numbers without changing the equivalency of the equation. So think about this. I'm going to focus on the a's. What number could I multiply 2a by? And what other number could I multiply 7a by in order to get those coefficients opposite? Well, one of the easy ones, I can multiply 2a by I'm going to multiply it by negative 7. Actually, I'm going to multiply it by positive 7. That will make my calculations a little bit easier. And notice the notation here. I'm using a big parenthesis around the equation and smaller parentheses around the number I'm multiplying. And another good habit, 
put the multiplication by 7 on the other side as well. In the second equation, I can multiply that by any number. And remember, our goal is to get the a's opposite. So if I multiply the second equation by negative 2, and I do that on both sides, watch what's going to happen when I distribute in those numbers. If I distribute in positive 7 times 2a, I get 14a plus positive 7 times 10b, I get 70b. On the other side of the equal sign, 7 times 1,234 is 8,638. Let's distribute in the negative 2 to the second equation. Negative 2 times 7a, negative 14a. That's just what I want. Negative 2 times positive 4b is plus negative 8b. And on the other side of the equal sign, distribute negative 2 times 1405. And that gives you negative 2810. So if I now use the elimination method and add the two equations together, Look what happens. 14a plus negative 14a is 0. 70b plus negative 8b is a positive 62b. And adding these two numbers together gives me 5,828. So through the elimination method, I now have one equation with one variable. I can solve that by dividing both sides by 62, canceling the b's, sorry, the, the 62 over 62, and b is equal to 94. We found one unknown in our system of equations. To find the other value, I can go back to one of the original equations, and I can substitute this value b into either one of them. I'm going to choose the second one. It just looks a little easier to me. So I have 7a plus 4 times b. Well, b now is equal to 94. And that's equal to 1,405. Do the simplifying. 7a plus 376. That's equal to 1,405. Subtract 376 from both sides. That gives you 7a is equal to 1,029. Trust me on that. I think it's right. Divide both sides by 7. And a is equal to 147. So there are what I think are my two solutions. What I'll do next is I'll go back and summarize these two results. I can go back to my original uh, variables that I defined, and it would be perfectly fine to just write A, which is the number of basketballs under offer A, totals 147, and put a label on it, basketballs. And B came out to be 94 basketballs. I've got just one more step to do because the problem did ask me to get a total number of basketballs. So I'll write that out. The total number of basketballs that the company has to come up with is 241 basketballs. And if you're the director of research for that company, you get an A-plus for using systems of equations to solve that.